Hi everyone, welcome to Clean It Up 2. So what we're going to do now that we have cleaned up our columns a little bit is to have a look at some other functions from dplyr that allow you to subset your data out, to arrange it in ascending or descending order, and to group by um, particular variables to create summary statistics on other ones. So um, let's start um, with the script that we've been working on. And you can see that I'm here in my Are You With Me um, project, and the data is where it always has been. And we can run, we go up to the top here, we can make sure that we've got our packages loaded, and we'll read in the data. And then um, we might, I'm going to change this a little bit because I want to take my Beaches data and clean the names and rename the unwieldy bacteria variable to beach bugs. But I actually, um, I want to keep all of the data, I think. So I'm going to just delete this um, line of code. And um, let's run this section so that we have a new thing in our environment that's called clean beaches. And the only thing that has changed is that we have um, all our names and our lowercase with un underscores and we've renamed this thing called beach books. All right, so let's um, start asking questions about the data. So which beach has the most extreme levels of bugs? So um, there is a function in the player called arrange, which essentially does what sort um, does in Excel. And so what we want to do is we can use the pipe to take our clean beaches data and pipe it into an arrange function that will show us what it will sort um, according to beach bugs, putting the highest values at the top and the lowest values at the bottom. So we'll go clean beaches. You can see how that comes up with a little data frame. We can pipe that into an arrange function and we want to arrange by levels of beach bugs. Right? We run that. Um, oh, oops. Okay. So it has done that quite nicely, except that it's put all the smallest values at the top. Right, so we need to tell it that we actually want to see the biggest values at the top by specifying that um, we want to arrange by beach bugs in descending order. So we can do that by just adding a descending like this, making sure that every time you open a bracket on one side, you close it on the other. So we can there we go, that looks better. So now we can see that it has sorted the beach bugs um, from highest values to lowest in descending order, and the highest values come from um, readings at Little Bay Beach on, now it's really hard to see that date. So how about we do this? What I'm gonna do is create a new data frame um, that pulls this ascending, descending order data um, into an object in our environment up here. So I'm going to say, call this data frame worth bugs. And what that is going to do is take the clean beaches data, pipe it into our range function, um, and then put the output of that into a new data frame called worst bugs. Now, there's two ways to sort things in descending order. You can either type D-E-S-C like this, or more simply, you can just put a minus sign there. And so by saying arrange minus beach bugs, that means arrange it in biggest to smallest. All right, let's have a look at that. So now we've got this new thing over here in our environment called worst bugs. And you can see 
it's much easier to see the date in this format. So the worst, most extreme reading is 4900, and that came from Little Bay Beach on the 30th of June 2013, which is my birthday. Interesting. Okay, so now we know that the worst bugs came from um, this particular day in 2013. Um, there was also quite bad bugs at Malabar that day as well. Um, I wonder if it was super rainy. We might look at that in future, in future, um, in future lessons. All right. So we know that the most extreme readings in the data set come from Little Bay on my birthday in 2013. Now I'm particularly interested. I live in Kuji, so I'm particularly interested in. Okay, the worst bugs in the data set come from that day in um, at Little Bay, but I want to know how bad is Kuji relative to that worst day in Little Bay. So what you can do is use a combination of the filter function and the arrange function to look at a subset of the data. So what I'm going to do is filter for just Kuji, and then I'm going to arrange the just Kuji data from worst bug levels to least bug levels. So let's take our clean beaches data and I'm going to pipe it into a filter function and I want the site to be equals to Kuji and then I'm going to pipe it. Oops, I'm going to remember that this is actually beaches. And then I'm going to pipe it into an arrange function and I want to arrange it by beach bugs negative, right? So I want descending order of beach bugs, but only the Kuji. So this double equals means that I want the site to match Kuji and you put it in inverted commas um, to say that you're matching a text character. Um, let's have a look at that. Hmm. Okay. 0 by 8. That doesn't seem right. What is going on here? Um, okay, let's have a look at beaches. And... Oh, you know what? So I've asked it to match site equals Kuji in inverted commas. And actually, the site, the reference for Kuji in the site column is Kuji Beach. So this is an example of where um, R takes you literally. It um, There is a way we can say site contains Kuji, but what I've tried to do here is match it perfectly. And if I don't tell it what it is actually um, reading in the column, then it's going to say that is not possible and give me an output that is zero by eight. Okay, let's try that again. Better. Okay, so now we have, you can see we've just got Kuji and the worst day in Kuji is um, nowhere near as bad as the worst day in Little Bay. So the um, highest concentrations of bugs in Kuji is 1200. We can't really see that date again. So let's make another data frame. I'll go worst, I'll call this new thing worst Kuji, and it's going to take the clean beaches data, filter um, for site as Kuji, and then pipe that into an arrange descending and assign the output of that to a new data frame called worst Kuji. So let's do that. Okay, so we have a new thing in our environment over here. If we look at worst Kuji, we can see that. Um, the most extreme value at Kuji is was 1200 and that happened on the 16th of December 2016. All right so you can see how we can use the pipe much like we did in the last lesson where we take data we clean up the names then we take that and rename and then take that and um, select. We can do the same by putting filter and arrange together. Now often, um, this is, let me show you the most user-friendly formatting, right? So it's often a good idea to put each section of your pipe on a new line. So you take the clean beaches and then new line, 
filter for Kudji, and then new line, arrange in descending order.